All right, plus or minus stoichiometric relationships with gases, part C. Acetylene torches are used for welding. These torches are a mixture of acetylene and oxygen to produce the following combustion reaction. You have 50, you have, sorry, 5.5 liters. You have a, you have a 5.5 liter gas tank and a 4.5 liter gas tank. You need to fill one tank with oxygen and the other tank with acetylene to use in conjunction with your welding torch. If you fill the larger tank with oxygen at a pressure of 115 atm, what pressure should you fill the acetylene tank in order to ensure that you run out of each gas at the same time? Alrighty here. Let's take a look at Pivner to establish a couple things here. Pivner says that pressure times volume equals number of moles times the gas constant times temperature. So at a constant temperature, such as this one, then your pressure and your volume your pressure times your volume are proportional to your number of moles. So what's your factor for your oxygen? So what's your number of moles of oxygen? So your number of moles of oxygen that you're working with here would be your pressure of your oxygen tank, 115 atm, times the volume of your oxygen tank, which they told you is the larger one, which means they've probably randomized the numbers for this. But if for this problem, the larger tank is that 5.5 liters. So we can have our number of moles of oxygen be equivalent to 115 times 5.50 gives me 632.5 atm liters. Now, we have to do our stoichiometry because this equation doesn't use acetylene and oxygen in a one-to-one -one ratio. We're going to use this as a substitute for moles. The 632.5 liters ATM, we're going to use that as a stand-in for our number of moles. So I have 632.5 ATM liters of oxygen. And according to my chemical equation, for every 5 moles of oxygen I have, I need two moles of acetylene. So now I have moles of acetylene. I need to get moles of acetylene where they cancel out. And actually, I don't need to get moles of acetylene where I cancel out. That's pretty much my answer because I've canceled out my oxygen here. So I'm going to multiply that and that's going to give me a pressure, an ATM liters, right? I'm just canceling out that acetylene and I'm canceling out that... Canceling out the oxygen and getting acetylene. So multiplying by 2, dividing by 5, is 253 ATM liters of my acetylene. Now, the problem with that is, is this problem is wanting to know the pressure. It gave me a volume right here for my acetylene tank of 400, I'm sorry, 400, 4.50 liters. I know my moles of acetylene now. Here, I'm going to write it down here. I know my moles of acetylene are equivalent to my pressure of my acetylene 
times the volume of my acetylene. And I know that that pressure times volume is 253 atm liters. And I'm wanting to solve for the pressure. They told me that the volume was 4.50 liters in the problem, right? I got that from up there. So now it's a matter of algebra. I divide both sides by that 450 liters. Why do I keep saying 450? 4.50, my word, it's getting close to lunchtime. Do that and it cancels out. Divide by 4.5. and that gives me a pressure of 56.2 atm for my acetylene. 